Hi. Remember when I put that annotation in my last video saying that I'd stop for a while? Well, I figured I'd make one more video because I thought this would be important. You remember that last video I made called Aliens Are They Real? Well, that is a true theory, but there's a possible theory that vampires might be real. And the reason why is because, um, is because, um, some people take these vampire movies and TV shows such as Twilight and True Blood real seriously. And I could un understand why, because it could be part of the, uh, they could be like the devoted fans. But there are some, like, um, you could call them, uh, supernatural extremists who start who started this cult that believes that they're all vampire that the followers believe that they're all vampires and they wear these false teeth these false fangs to be correct and um they they break into people's houses bite them till they're unconscious or even dead and steal their prized possessions I'd, I'd be totally scared if that happened. And I heard about a case where that happened once, and two of the followers um, escaped to Bolivia, hoping they could escape charges, and two of them bombed a hotel. Believe it or not, if I showed up in Bolivia, and I witnessed a hotel bombing, and the two people who did it said they were vampires, I'd be like, what on earth is your problem? You know, one time I ran into this guy, he had his hood up the whole time, and he had these false fangs. And I'm like, dude, what's up with the hood and the fangs? And he said, I'm a vampire. I'm like, I understand the fangs, but why the hood? He said, vampires have a religion, even though that we're um, scared of Christ. We have our own religion. It's called the Reformed Church of Dracutology. Then I say, since when do vampires have a religion called the Reformed Church of Dracutology? He said, since the day Dracula started the religion. You can just Google it and find out. And then I, um, I Googled it. It didn't bring any results up. I go back to this guy and I say, okay, take your hood off. You're not part of a religion. There is no such thing as the Reformed Church of Dracutology. And you look like a fool because that hood and the cloak you're wearing is brown. You look more like a combination of a vampire and the emperor in Star Wars. I walked home laughing after that incident. It's not like every day you hear about a vampire who looks like the Emperor in Star Wars. Now, in case of both the situations of the real vampires you see in movies and the members of that cult who claim they're vampires, please, do the following. Get into a small room, such as a bedroom or a bathroom. Close the windows. Pull the blinds over the windows till they're closed. And then... Um, get down so no one can see you. Make sure you have food, water, and oxygen tanks so you don't starve, suffocate, or get dehydrated. Make sure you have phones to call someone in case of an emergency. And then arm yourselves with the following weapons. A wooden stake. A heap of garlic. A taser. And a riot shield. All those will protect you from the vampires. Believe it or not, it worked for me the last time I got attacked by vampires. And by the time you see this video, they'll have already made it to me. Goodbye.